Hey there fellow pigeon enthusiasts. Welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited about today's topic because it's something that has absolutely transformed my bird's health and racing performance over the past few years. We're going to dive deep into the world of natural probiotics for racing pigeons. If you're new to pigeon racing or breeding, or even if you've been at it for years but haven't explored probiotics yet, you're in for a treat. This information could be a game changer for your loft. And if you're a seasoned pro who's already using probiotics, stick around because I've got some natural recipes and approaches you might not have tried yet. Just look at these beauties. Glossy feathers, bright eyes, and bursting with energy. A few years ago, my loft wasn't looking quite this vibrant. I was dealing with recurring health issues, inconsistent race results, and just generally struggling to get my birds to peak condition. That all changed when I started incorporating natural probiotics into my bird's diet and care regimen. So, what exactly are probiotics? In simple terms, probiotics are beneficial live bacteria and yeasts that promote good health, particularly in the digestive system. Think of them as the good guys in the bacterial world. We often hear about probiotics in human health. Maybe you've seen yogurt commercials talking about gut health, but they're just as important for our feathered athletes. Pigeons, like all living creatures, have a complex ecosystem of bacteria living in their digestive tracts. When this ecosystem is balanced and healthy, the bird's overall health improves dramatically. The gut is actually a major part of any animal's immune system. Scientists estimate that up to 70% of immune function is connected to gut health. So when we talk about boosting immunity with probiotics, we're working with a direct connection. Racing pigeons in particular need this immune support. Think about the stresses they endure being transported to race points, flying hundreds of miles home, pushing their bodies to the limit. These stresses can disrupt their gut bacteria, making them more susceptible to illness. Probiotics help maintain that crucial bacterial balance even under stress. Cut to person at a table with various natural ingredients. Now, you might be thinking, can I just buy a commercial probiotic supplement? And yes, there are many good products on market. But today, I want to focus on natural probiotics, ones you can make yourself with simple ingredients. These natural options are often more affordable, and many fanciers, myself included, find that birds respond exceptionally well to them. Let's start with one of the simplest and most effective natural probiotics, fermented apple cider vinegar, or ACV, as we often call it. Not the clear, filtered stuff from a grocery store, but the raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother, that cloudy substance at the bottom that contains all the beneficial bacteria and enzymes. Adding a small amount of this to your pigeon's drinking water, typically about one tablespoon per gallon, provides a wealth of benefits. It creates an acidic environment in the crop and digestive tract that favors beneficial bacteria while inhibiting harmful ones. It's also rich in enzymes that aid digestion, helping your birds get maximum nutrition from their feed. I give my birds ACV water twice a week during the off-season and increase it to three times a week during racing season. However, never use it the day of basketing for a race or the day they return. Birds need clear, fresh water on those crucial days. Cut to kitchen scene preparing fermented feed. Another fantastic natural probiotic approach is fermented feed. This is a game changer that's gaining popularity among top fanciers worldwide. The process is simple. Take your regular pigeon feed mix, cover it with water, and let it ferment for 24 to 48 hours at room temperature. The natural yeasts and bacteria in the environment start breaking down the grains, making nutrients more available, and creating beneficial bacterial cultures. Here's my step-by-step -step process. I use a clean plastic container with a loose-fitting lid. It needs to breathe but stay protected from dust and insects. I fill it about one-third with feed, then add enough water to cover the seeds completely with about an inch of water on top. The seeds will expand as they soak. After about 24 hours in warm weather or 48 hours in cooler conditions, you'll notice a slightly sour smell, like sourdough bread and small bubbles forming. That's fermentation happening. Drain off the excess water. Some fanciers save this probiotic-rich water to add to drinking water later, and the fermented feed is ready to serve. I usually prepare enough for two to three days and keep it in the refrigerator. Start by introducing it slowly, mix a small amount with regular feed, and gradually increase the proportion. Many birds love it immediately, while others take time to adjust to the new texture and flavor. The benefits are remarkable. The fermentation process breaks down phytic acid in the grains, which normally blocks mineral absorption. This makes calcium, phosphorus, and other essential minerals more bioavailable. The protein becomes more digestible too. 
And of course, the feed is now teeming with probiotic bacteria that will colonize your bird's digestive tracts. I've noticed my birds consuming about 20% less feed by volume since switching to fermented feed three times a week. That's because they're getting more nutrition from each kernel. Their droppings are more consistent too, a clear sign of improved digestion. Now let's talk about another fantastic natural probiotic that you might already have in your kitchen, yogurt. Plain, unsweetened yogurt with live active cultures is a probiotic powerhouse. The key bacteria in yogurt, lactobacillus and bifidobacterium, are particularly beneficial for pigeon health. Show mixing yogurt with feed. I mix about a teaspoon of yogurt into the feed for each bird once or twice a week. You can mix it right into their regular feed or their fermented feed for a double probiotic punch. Some fanciers even make a yogurt paste by mixing it with a bit of brewer's yeast and garlic, two other immune-boosting supplements, and serve it on a separate dish for birds to eat as desired. One important note about yogurt, use it fresh and never let it sit in the loft for more than about 20 minutes, especially in warm weather. Remove any uneaten yogurt-covered feed to prevent spoilage. Let's expand our probiotic approach with some fascinating additions from the plant world. Certain herbs actually function as prebiotics, substances that feed and support probiotic bacteria. One of my favorites is oregano. Fresh or dried oregano contains compounds that selectively support beneficial bacteria while inhibiting harmful ones. I add chopped fresh oregano to my bird's feed about once a week, just a small pinch per bird. If using dried oregano, use about half that amount as it's more concentrated. Thyme works similarly and can be used the same way. Garlic is another wonderful prebiotic that supports immune function directly as well. I add one finely chopped clove of fresh garlic to feed for about 15 to 20 birds once or twice a week. Some fanciers also add garlic to drinking water, but I prefer adding it directly to feed to ensure proper dosage. Now, I want to share one of my secret weapons in the loft, fermented vegetable mix. This is essentially homemade sauerkraut for pigeons, and it's loaded with beneficial bacteria. I use a mixture of finely shredded cabbage, carrots, and beetroot. The cabbage provides the right environment for fermentation, while the carrots and beetroot add valuable nutrients. To make it, I shred the vegetables very finely. Pigeons prefer smaller pieces and mix them with about 2% salt by weight. Pack the mixture tightly into a clean jar, pressing down until the natural juices cover the vegetables. Leave about an inch of space at the top. Then close the lid loosely and let it ferment at room temperature for about a week. Show finished fermented vegetable mix. The finished product should have a pleasant, sour smell. I give my birds about a teaspoon of this mix per bird once a week. They usually develop a taste for it quickly, especially when mixed with a bit of their regular feed. This fermented vegetable mix is particularly valuable during molting season when birds need extra nutrients to grow new feathers. The fermentation process makes the vitamins and minerals in the vegetables more bioavailable, and the probiotic bacteria support overall health during this demanding time. Another powerful natural probiotic option is milk kefir. Kefir grains are a symbiotic colony of bacteria and yeasts that ferment milk, creating a tangy, yogurt-like drink that's even richer in probiotic strains than yogurt. You can make milk kefir at home with kefir grains, which you can find online or from other kefir makers. To make it, simply add the kefir grains to fresh milk and let it sit at room temperature for about 24 hours until thickened. Strain out the grains, which can be reused indefinitely, and the resulting kefir is ready to use. Show feeding kefir to pigeons. I add about half a teaspoon of kefir per bird to their feed once a week. Like yogurt, kefir should be served fresh and any leftovers removed promptly. The wide variety of beneficial bacterial strains in kefir makes it especially valuable for maintaining gut diversity, which is key to robust immune function. If you're concerned about using dairy products, water kefir is an excellent alternative. Water kefir grains are different from milk kefir grains. They feed on sugar rather than lactose. To make water kefir, dissolve sugar in water, about a quarter cup sugar per quart water. Add the water kefir grains and let ferment for 24 to 48 hours. The resulting slightly fizzy, mildly sweet liquid is full of beneficial bacteria. I add about one tablespoon per gallon to my birds drinking water once or twice a week. Water kefir can also be flavored with a bit of fruit juice before serving to make it more appealing to the birds. Cut to calendar or schedule board. Now, let's talk about timing and frequency. How often should you provide these natural probiotics to your racing pigeons? 
I've mentioned specific frequencies for each type, but let me give you a more comprehensive schedule that's worked well for me. During the off-season and breeding season, I provide some form of natural probiotic about three times a week. This might be ACV water one day, fermented feed another day, and yogurt or kefir mixed into feed on the third day. During racing season, I increase this to about four times a week, being careful to never give probiotics on basketing day or return day from a race. I typically provide ACV water the day after return, fermented feed two days after return, and a yogurt slash garlic mix the day before basketing. During molting, I emphasize fermented feed and the fermented vegetable mix to provide extra nutritional support, offering one or the other almost daily. Since implementing this natural probiotic regime, I've seen remarkable improvements in my loft. First and most visibly, my bird's droppings are more consistent and well-formed, a clear indication of good digestive health. Their feathers have developed a deeper shine, what we call bloom, in the fancy, and they handle better. Their muscles feel firmer and more responsive. On race day, my returns have become more consistent. Birds seem to have better endurance and recovery. I've had fewer cases of post-race illness, and when birds do face health challenges, they seem to bounce back faster. Cut to breeding section of loft, if available. In the breeding loft, fertility has improved, and young birds are growing more uniformly. Their weaning transition is smoother, with fewer digestive upsets when they start eating on their own. Young birds raised with probiotics from the start seem to have stronger natural immunity, with fewer respiratory issues during training. Let me address some common questions about natural probiotics. First, can you overdo it? Yes, like anything, moderation is key. Too much acidity from excessive ACV can disrupt the crop pH. Too much fermented feed can sometimes cause loose droppings if birds aren't accustomed to it. Start with small amounts and observe your bird's response. Second, how do you know if the probiotics are working? The most immediate sign is improved droppings. They should be well-formed, with clear white urates and quick-drying fecal matter. You should also notice improved feather quality, more energy, and better race performance over time. Third, do natural probiotics replace medications? Absolutely not. While good probiotic support can reduce the need for medications by strengthening natural immunity, they're not a replacement for proper veterinary care when birds are ill. Always consult with an avian vet or experienced fancier if your birds show signs of illness. Let's talk about storage and preparation. For ACV, simply keep the bottle sealed and at room temperature. For fermented feed, prepare only what you'll use within two to three days and refrigerate between uses. Yogurt and kefir should always be refrigerated until just before use. Fermented vegetables can be stored in the refrigerator for several weeks and the flavors actually continue to develop over time. Just make sure to use clean utensils when removing portions to avoid introducing harmful bacteria. Water kefir should be prepared fresh every few days, though the grains can be stored in sugar water in the refrigerator between uses for up to a week. Cut to person standing in loft doorway with pigeons in background. I want to emphasize that introducing natural probiotics should be a gradual process. Birds' digestive systems need time to adjust to new foods and bacterial profiles. Start with small amounts once or twice a week and gradually increase frequency and quantity as your birds adapt. Also, observe your specific birds' preferences. Just like people, pigeons have individual tastes. Some of my birds absolutely love fermented feed but aren't keen on yogurt. Others go crazy for the fermented vegetable mix but turn their beaks up at water kefir. Pay attention to these preferences and adjust accordingly. As we approach racing season, probiotics become even more crucial. The stress of training, basketing, and racing can disrupt gut flora, potentially leading to performance issues or post-race illness. A strong probiotic program creates resilience in your bird's digestive and immune systems, helping them maintain peak condition despite these stresses. I've found that birds on a good probiotic program require less recovery time between races. Their bodies process waste more efficiently they maintain better muscle tone, and they return to peak form more quickly. Cut to seasonal calendar or chart. It's worth adjusting your probiotic strategy seasonally. In winter, when disease pressure is often higher due to closed lofts and less ventilation, increase probiotic frequency slightly. During extreme summer heat, birds drink more water, so ACV and water kefir in drinking water should be slightly more diluted. During breeding, focus on nutritional density with fermented feed to support parent birds. During racing, emphasize recovery support with post-race probiotics. 
During molting, provide extra nutritional support through fermented vegetables and feed. Let me summarize the natural probiotic options we've discussed today. We have apple cider vinegar with the mother, fermented feed, plain yogurt with live cultures, milk kefir, water kefir, and fermented vegetables. We also talked about prebiotic supports like oregano, thyme, and garlic. You don't need to implement all of these at once. In fact, I recommend starting with just one, perhaps ACV water twice a week, and observing the results for a few weeks before adding another element. Developing your probiotic program is a journey, not a destination. Your approach will evolve as you learn what works best for your specific birds, your loft situation, and your racing goals. The beauty of natural probiotics is their flexibility. You can adjust and customize endlessly. Cut to slow motion footage of pigeons in flight. Remember that our goal as fanciers is to create the conditions for our birds to achieve their natural potential. Pigeons are incredible athletes with remarkable homing abilities. Our job isn't to force performance, but to remove the obstacles to their innate capabilities. Natural probiotics support their body's own systems, allowing their natural vigor and intelligence to shine through. I hope this deep dive into natural probiotics has given you some valuable ideas to try in your own loft. If you're new to these concepts, start small and simple. If you're already using some of these techniques, perhaps try adding one new element to your program. I'd love to hear your experiences with natural probiotics in the comments below. What's worked for you? What questions do you have? This community grows stronger when we share our knowledge and experiences. Thank you for joining me today on this exploration of boosting racing pigeons immunity with natural probiotics. If you found this valuable, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on future content. Until next time, happy flying! and may your birds always find their way home. See you in the next video.